Hi guys, Rob 46 here, welcome yourselves back to Valentino Rusty the game. Let's continue with career mode. It is the last Moto3 race of the season, Valencia. A track I hate, but um, because it is the last race in Moto3, I want to win. So, I want to go out on a win, so I'm not going to give the AI any advantage whatsoever. So let's go, and hopefully we can win this one. Like I said, it is my last race in Moto3 because we will be moving up to Moto2 as soon as the, uh, the season is finished. Let's be trying to get around the outside of some people. But um, there is the Monza Rally show after this and then we've got the Endura Ranch to do. So uh, yeah, that's going to be quite interesting considering it's bugged as well. But um, anyway, back to Valencia. We've got a good drive there. We're going up the inside as well. So we're actually up to 23rd now. So making good progress, or progress if you're American. Uh, back down to 22nd. But we're going to try and get up the inside of Nora Din. Yes, we do. Oh, and Pawi got a great drive out of that corner. Back behind Ben Snyder. That must be Locatelli again. He seems to be my nemesis now at the uh, tail end. Oh, no, that's me. Locatelli's a bit further up. Yeah, Locatelli's been like my nemesis in like the past four races. He's just been an absolute dick. But anyway, let's go around the outside of these guys. No, because we're on the curve, that's going to lose drive. We made one place up. We're one place out of the points. Oh, God. That didn't go too well. Went way too deep in there. Still 16, so that's not too bad. I was trying to get past, but we're not going to let him. Right, final corner. Ooh. Curb and set my bike a bit. That's fine. Okay, now we've got the long drag down to turn one. No one's going to come past, I hope. Aminio right behind us. He did give us a hand in uh, Sepang by giving us a nudge along the straight, but we don't need him this time. Let's go into the first corner. Get past Rivera. Hopefully. Danilo. Uh, come on. Yeah, there we go. 12th place. Okay, I've got a good feeling about this one. We can do this. Of course we can. I just really want to end on a win. Because it's the last Moto3 race. How many times are you going to say that during a video, eh? Last race in Moto3. Probably said it about six times already. Oh yes, I like that corner. Seems to be able to get a good drive out of there. Right, we're tenth. One and a half laps to go. Oh, we're coming up to our nemesis Locatelli, but we're going to go up the inside of all of these. Yes. There we go, sixth place. We're nearly with the leaders. Scratch that, we are with the leaders. Scratch that, we're nearly with the leaders because they pulled away out of that corner. Right, now we're with the leaders again. Right, should we try and... S oh, it's on the wrong side. Going around the outside of them. That's not going to work. Snap to the inside. No. Oh, God. Like pinballing off two of them. Anyway, we're fifth. Belega got a well good drive out that last corner. He's almost in the lead. In fact, he is in the lead. Went from like fifth to first. Anyway, this is our final lap. We're going wide into the first corner, very wide. The front was good, but it's fine. We're still upright. We're still fifth. We're still with the leaders. And I know where we're going to do this. Well, I'm pretty sure it's going to be this next corner, the left kink. At the inside of them all. Oh, oh, not quite because Bastianini got in the way. Well, we are up to fourth third. Right, so it is just my uh, VR, fellow VR46 Academy riders, Fanati and Bulliger. Right, come on, at this corner we can get good drive. Oh, we've gone on the curb, gone off the curb, dropped off the edge, we've pulled a wheelie, we've lost a place. Oh, this might not turn out the way I want it to. Up the inside of Bender, Bender, Binder even. <laughs> I was getting mixed up between uh, Binder and Ben Snyder, and it came out as Bender. I apologise. 
Right, we're with them. Come on, where are we going to do this? Might have to do a last corner lunge. Because we've only got this corner. Very long left. And then the final corner. So, shove up the inside here. No. Oh my god, we're going to have to do it in the last corner. Here we go. On the brakes. That was good. But can we get a good exit? It's going to be very close. Come the line. They got a faster bike than me. They got slipstream. Bulliger decided to go straight into the back of me instead of uh, pulling out the slipstream. But we've won. We have got our final victory in Moto3. That is it for Moto3. We have done and dusted it. We've become the Moto3 World Champion. And that's it. That's all I can say. Moto3 is done. Our rider almost has perfect stats. Um, let's have a look at our stats. Yeah, almost perfect stats. Rain ability is the one thing we need to improve on. But uh, other than that, it's uh, all looking pretty good. So I was going to record the whole of the rallying, but it didn't go too well, so I didn't. Anyway, Endura Ranch. This is... Uh, I'm going to show you the bug that I'm on about. If you play with manual gears, um, you're about to see what happens and the bug that I'm on about with Endure Ranch. So, I'm in manual gears, like I always play. Rossi's my teammate. You have auto drive slash auto run to your bike. Your rider gets on his bike and here we go. He just sits there, revving it in neutral. You cannot come out of auto drive. Um, it keeps like spawning you. Uh, you try and change gear, won't change gear. You're just stuck in auto drive and you have no way of getting out of it. Um, I think it does uh, let you go after about a minute, but by that time, what's the point in racing when you're a minute behind? So what we're going to do is go into the options and uh, unfortunately, you're going to have to turn transmission onto semi-automatic. Now this is the only way at the moment that you can actually play in Dual Ranch. So I don't know how well I'm going to do with semi-automatic. So now that it's in semi-automatic, it will work. So um, yeah, let's do the Endure Ranch. I won't show the whole race because it will take quite a long time to do. We've got 12 laps to go. Um, so yeah, look, immediately in first gear and pulling away. So the bug isn't actually there in semi-automatic gears. The only problem I have with semi-automatic is because I'm so used to manual. Um, I don't like semi-automatic because it doesn't have choose the right gear that I want. Um, especially for some corners, I might want a higher gear and it gives me a lower gear. I might want a lower gear and it's just, it just gives me even lower gear. Basically, it doesn't give me the right gears at the time that I need them. Um, which is annoying. You try to use a semi-automatic, um, which you can change gear yourself but it just uh, changes like a split second later because apparently the computer knows best but um, I'm kind of feeling just slower with uh, semi-automatic gears just because I can't pick the gear that I want I'm spinning up loads um, and yeah the game is just not giving me the gears that I should be having round here usually in third that was third that was fine but um yeah, so 12 laps we've got to do in this, but after three laps, or on on the third lap, we have to pit and change rider. So I'm assuming we're going to get to play as uh, Valentino Rossi. So let's continue going about our business. We've got a decent lead at the moment. Uh, we are in the lead, of course. Like I said, uh, I won't be showing all the race because you will be here for a very long time. And... Um, if I'm in the lead the whole time, you'll probably get bored, so I will cut the race down a bit. So we're in the lead, we're coming out of that corner. So this is the end of the first lap. As we go across the line now. Cool. Right. So we're on lap three now. Just starting lap three. You see, uh, it says um, driver change. Uh, we've got one lap to go, or change rider even, not driver change, Robbie, what the fuck are you reading? Change rider, um, we've got a lap to go, so after this lap, we have to pit in and change rider to Valentino Rossi. 
and uh, hopefully we can keep the lead. I mean, we've got a pretty big lead at the moment, which is nice. But uh, I'm not feeling the uh, the semi-automatic uh, the semi-automatic gears. I'm so used to manual now that semi-automatic just it doesn't feel right. It feels weird. I don't like it. Okay. But we are doing the job. We are doing what we want. Come on, we can do this. I don't know what the actual time is back to uh, second place. I'm guessing we're about to find out as we go through that split. What is it? 3.1 seconds. That's a huge lead. So as long as we can continue doing that, um, we'll be good to go. Come round, we've only got a few corners left before we finish lap three. And then we can pit, change riders, and play as Rossi for a little bit. So we I'm assuming we're doing three laps, three laps. Well we're doing two two lots of three each. So two two lots of three with my riders and two lots of three with Rossi's riders, which is basically six laps each. In case you didn't know maths. Alright, so this is lap three. Where's the end is that the entrance? Where the fuck did we go? That 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 wasn't oh I see the entrance. <laughs> Fucking hell, we've gone past it about a million times. Um okay, so this is the entrance, not that made up thing I just made up. So right, auto drive, so we ain't actually got to do anything when we change rider. Um uh, pull up alongside Rossi, they're gonna take the key out of my bike, put it in Rossi's bike. And away he goes. All right, let's go. Okay. What the? Okay, so now it's gone into manual gears. What the fuck? So I've got semi-automatic for my rider and manual for what the? Jesus, he links off the bike a lot. Bloody hell. <laughs> we've actually yeah, we've lost the lead as well. God. What the hell? Is it like Rossi trying to get his shoulder on the ground? Bloody hell. <laughs> that looks crazy. I need to try and retake the lead though. Come on, we can do this. That's a weird style. It just looks like he's going to get his shoulder on the ground. That looks painful as well. Jeez. So now we've got to get used to using manual gears again, which is, uh, so this is what it's going to be like. It's going to be semi-automatic gears for me and manual gears for Rossi. So I guess we've kind of got a compromise because we can't actually use full manual gears because it's bugged. So that's okay. It's just for three laps, we're going to have to uh, get adapt to uh, semi-automatic and for the next three laps, we're going to have to adapt or readapt to manual gears and then do it all again for the next two goes. So that's a bit annoying. But we are just finishing lap four. Okay, start of lap well, a bit far on from lap six now. About halfway round. And we are doing the business. We've pulled away loads. Let's see what the split time is. 5.3 seconds just before it quickly disappeared. So we've got a huge lead. So that's all good. Go all gone very wide. So after this lap, we've got to pit in again and switch back to my rider. And then I'm assuming go back out on semi automatic gears. Unless the game's decided. Actually, Robert, we'll, we'll let you have uh, auto, uh, manual gears. That would be very nice, but it only appears to be Rossi at the moment that I've got manual gears for, which is annoying, but good at the same time. Alright, okay. So, now we know where the uh, the entrance is, we don't have to piss about going across country. So here we go, in we go. Find my rider, where's, there he is. God, they, they ride up to him very slowly. Okay, so key out of Rossi's bike, key into my bike. Let's go. Or it might be the transponder, actually, not the key. Probably transfer. Yeah, I think it's the transponder. Um, right. So, 
I think they... Ma are they manual gears again? I think they might be manual gears. Nope, they're automatic. <laughs> They've gone down to automatic again. For like a moment, they were manual for like 10 seconds and then they've gone back to semi-automatic. That's annoying. Oh well. Let's continue going. We're over halfway through this race now, so that's good. It's a long, long race, this. Very long race. But fun at the same time because it is the flat track. Right, okay. Lap A, end of lap A. Starting lap 9. One lap to go before rider change again. We've got a tiny penalty. Um, just because I put like my front wheel an inch on the grass earlier. And it gave me less than a 10 penalty. But that's fine because we got a massive lead. Through the cones. Got semi-automatic. It's annoying. I want to know what, what, how big that gap is, but I think we're too far that it's not actually going to tell us. Because it only just told us when it's 5.3 seconds. So it definitely ain't going to tell us now. Oh, get off the grass, don't want another penalty. I don't know if we're going to lap anyone. We haven't really gone quick enough to say that we're going to lap people. Um, but we haven't even come across them on the crossover either. So that's probably a good thing because I don't want a collision on that. But um Because there they are just up there. Go around. Come on. We can do this. It's not rocket science. Alright, few corners left, and then we pit for the final time and hand back over. Valentino Rossi. The A team. Oh yeah, that was a good run there. So into the final corner. Let's start finish line, lap ten. So as we go round we have to pit back in. So we go in the pit. They go so slow in the pit. They go like six miles an hour. Really? Okay. Well, change the transponder over. And out we go as Rossi again. And back on manual gears. Oh, God. Every time I come out of the pit, I always nearly crash. Oh, yeah. Doctor's in the house. Such a big... Lead. Go oh god. It's crashed. Okay. This is going so well. Yes, look at that slide. Okay, so final lap now. We are nearly done. Come on. Oh, come on. It's cool. Oh, yeah, feeling good on this lap. In fact, I think we're uh, doing our quickest lap at the moment. Feeling good. Best lap on the last lap will be very good. Here we go. Yeah, we're definitely on track for uh, fastest lap of the race. Come on, Rossi. Ain't got very far to go now. Nearly there. There's a few corners left. Come on. 
It's fine. Oh God, please don't tell me we're going to meet some people on the crossover. They're coming down the crossover. Oh God. No, I think we're... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Whoa, jeez. Fuck you now. <laughs> what a save. <laughs> Holy shit. That was a save and a half. I think we're going to have to look at that on replay. But there we go, guys. Endura Ranch completed. I set the fastest lap as uh, my own rider. 0.7 a, a second. But that would have been fastest lap on the last race, uh, last lap. If I had that, uh, that near crash. And we get the achievement for uh, I couldn't wait. That kind of seems like a cheeky achievement towards the uh, the patch. I couldn't wait for the patch to come out, so I'd done it in uh, semi-automatic. Oh. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like, subscribe to my channel for more content. We're going up to Moto2 next. See you in the next video. See you.